Welcome to Kicks Gaming. This is Papa Kicks with a gold. Sorry. Discord events get you fantastic prizes that really boost your precious resources. Things like gold, gems, hunter cards, hunter perks, and more if it's a special event. Kraken requires more strategy than Dragon, so let's get started. Unlike Dragon Dungeon, you can't just race to the boss. We first have to repair our ship. This requires wood. Level 1 requires 50 wood to repair it to 100%. By level 10, we'll need 70 wood to get it to 100%. Once you turn in the wood and get 100%, it moves you to the boss phase. Normally, players will split up, gather wood independently, then meet somewhere and kill everything that has been chasing them. Then go kill more until you're high enough level. For our speedrun, we want to split these priorities. One hunter will collect most or all of the wood, while the other kills as much as they can as fast as they can. Obviously you want the stronger hunter killing and the weaker hunter collecting the wood. However, the wood collector needs to know how to pick up wood without dying. The key to this is to let the monster spot you and then run past them. If you run up to them before that, they spot you while you are in range and will get a swing in. Bifrost is a speedrunner. His guides are fantastic. He broke down how much wood you need into an optimal path for each level. If you want to win this event, you'll want to read his guide, link in the description. But remember, you'll be competing against him as well, so good luck. But for simplicity, we can follow this path on all floors. It will take you more time because you are going farther and gathering extra wood when you don't need it, but you'll always have enough wood for each floor and your partner can use that time to get a few more levels for you both. One thing that's nice about Kraken and Yeti is that the XP is shared. So if either of you kills something, both of you gets XP, which is fantastic. That means the hunter collecting wood isn't useless. It'll still be comparable level when you start the boss fight. Again, once you turn in that wood, it will trigger the boss phase. This moves you to the ship, where you get attacked by the Kraken. Kraken's attack is that he summons tentacles. Each tentacle has a limited range, so you may need to move to areas of the ship with less tentacles because they do hit hard. At floor 1 they hit for 100 damage per hit, increasing by 10 each floor and hitting for 200 per hit at floor 10. This means skills like dodge and regen help mitigate this damage. Skills like damage reduction, however, are pretty much worthless. Having high HP from skills and gear and the level bonus will help as well. But eventually, you will need to do something about the tentacles, or they will kill you. That's where the cannon comes in. After 10 to 15 seconds, a cannonball will appear on the ground. If you run to the cannonball and carry it to the cannon, the cannon will go off, scaring Kraken and his tentacles away for about 5 seconds. During this time, poison will continue to tick, but most other attacks will stop. So only cannonball if you need to. It is a waste of precious killing time if you don't need it. One last aspect is that when you carry the cannonball, you move really slow. So whoever has the lower DPS should be the one to get the cannonball. Let the high DPS hunter keep attacking while you protect them. At later levels, we can use hunters like Ripper to weaken the boss. If we do so, we can ignore the tentacles completely. Another trick is to find a place where the tentacles do not spawn or hit as often. Right here is a fantastic spot if you have enough range. That's about all there is to the boss phase. So now let's look at our hunter lineup. Here's what we used for Dragon 10. This list would probably work just fine for Kraken 10 depending on your gear, but we can improve it. Poison hunters are still the strongest, so we still want to use them at later levels. One thing that is different in Kraken is the strength of the monsters. Even the weakest Kraken monster has 1000 HP. On floors with double HP, you'll find some with 4000 HP. So unless you're rocking the best gear, Death Strike Hunters are very helpful in this dungeon, and we will bring Death Strike as a default perk when we normally wouldn't have. Hunters like Phantom and the Ancient One become good choices. They are always strong hunters, some of the highest DPS in the game, but they usually take time to build up to that potential. With Death Strike, it becomes easier. On floors 1 to 4, we want fast killing hunters who level up quickly and deal lots of damage. So good choice for these early levels are hunters like Ninja, Sniper, Phantom, and Mech. Notice these all have Death Strike. If you choose to do the Spider Queen Arachna pair, Arachna sucks at low levels in Kraken. 
So make sure Spider Queen has Death Strike, and that you let Spider Queen do as much of the killing as possible. Because of the shared XP, try not to die, or you waste a ton of time and lose out on any XP that is gained while you are dead. Since we don't have a lot of time to level up, we want to skip skills like XP, unfortunately. We want skills that give us damage immediately. Skills like Demon Pact and Attack Speed. If a hunter has Death Strike, we want that as well as a default perk, since it will help kill those 4k HP monsters quickly. Multi-shot, as always, is still excellent. Movement speed is good for hunters like Ripper or Mad Doctor who won't be killing, but only running to pick up the wood. For all other hunters, please see on screen the buffs that we brought. We get 18 minutes for this event for tier 1. That means we get 108 seconds per floor. That actually makes this challenge easier than the Dragon 10 event. If you head to the boss with 2 minutes left on the clock each floor, and it takes you 20 seconds to kill the boss, you now have your tier 1 run. But ideally you would go to the boss faster on some levels, like 1 through 4, and then have a little more time to spare on 6 through 10. As always, keep trying until you get your best score, then head over to Discord and copy your game code into the Event Entries channel. Were you able to get Tier 1 with this strategy, or did you have to modify it? Let us know in the comments. Then sit back and wait a few days for your rewards. Nothing to it. A big shout out to my patrons for their support. A big thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe not. Papa Kicks out!